guys, thanks for joining me tonight. It's Sunday night, summer of May, somewhere, or Sunday of May. <laughs> Tonight's uh, video is going to be a slightly different today. Um, I've been in this field a lot before, but last time I spoke to a farmer, he said he lost a chain that he wouldn't mind finding again. So, somewhere around this pondy thing behind me. So I've just come, now he's just freshly cut it, I thought I'd come in, because this was like Christmas last year and the grass was still, it was still quite high then, so... I'm just going to go in here, see if I can't find this chain for him, be a bit helpful. Um, I'm waiting on a few permissions, so I've just come back to a few old ones with the new settings, the relic mode. I'll show you that on the next hole, uh, just to see what I can find out. So in this video, it's going to be a let's find the chain video, if we can, because he said it might have actually gone inside that wooded area with the pond there. So if he's gone in there, I've got no chance of getting it. So uh, thanks for watching. Join me on the first hole. Summit of May, somewhere, or something that objects this. Hi guys, first mystery objects this. I haven't got a clue what that is. Don't think it's too old because it's it's not hollow, it's a fair weight. Gave off a cracky signal on the earth garret. Lump of brass thing. I'm not saying it's a screw. Small ice cream holder. I don't know. It's not a chain or a coin. No, so I should keep checking, keep looking, keep trying to find. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys, this is next find. Do you know what? <laughs> that fell out the side of the club there. Can you just see a hole there? It just dropped out when I dug it. And I thought, God, is that a cut half? It's a cut half of summit, but it's not a cut half of what I did to be a cut half of. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be hammered, but it's not. Strange little thing, it's got a line through it there. I don't know. Just a bit of unrecognisable snake, I think. Like I say, you know, I've given me a shock. I went fell out. Never mind. Thanks for watching. Join my next hole. Hey guys, here's the next find. I thought, I thought this was the chain for a minute. It gave off such a massive signal. And it's, I don't know. I re I found a few of these uh, in these fields. Some of them look like uh, tyre valves. That, this isn't a tyre valve. Uh, some of them look like pipe tampers, which I'm not saying it isn't. It still could be. Or is it just an ornate bolt that held something at that end and something at this end, like a carriage bolt? If anybody's got any ideas what these are, if it is a pipe tamper, let me know. If it's just a simple bolt, just let me know. Whack it in the comments. Whack it in the comments. I like finding these. I mean, I could get a collection of these to <laughs> I could get a collection of these together. Whatever these are, I think it was a pipe tamper. I think it'd be flat at the bottom. Seems to be like a lump of iron stuck on the end of there, and a lump of iron stuck on the end of there, which is making me think it's been between two sort of things like this. You see what I'm saying? But it was made ornately, so it was made to be seen. But what? What it is, I don't know. Please let me know. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys. Here's, a, here's the next find. I seem to be finding a lot of these this year. I'm like the Padlock King. <laughs> There you go, lovely little padlock. Came out of quite a big hole, couldn't locate it. For some strange reason, my probe is just sounding off at everything rather than the target itself. I don't know how old that is. It's left unlocked by the, the look of it, or it's just been whacked by the tractor or the plow because it's been smashed at the back. Don't know how old that is. 
What an awesome little find. Pleased with that, I like finding padlocks. So I'm not sure if that's been left unlocked and it's just bent or it's actually maybe somebody's tried to break it off of something. You see the locking point there? So I don't know. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's been locked. Someone's tried to force it open. It's just bent it because it's still in that position there. That's an awesome find. Pleased with that. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. It's fine guys, I've got a bit, a bit of square armour, a bit of square armour. I'm having to dig this because I'm not 100% sure what he said the chain was made of. I don't think it was an iron chain, I'm sure it was like a steel or stainless steel chain. So if I do get it, I don't think it's going to give off an iron signal, I don't think. Uh, but just to make sure, I've got my detector set just so that... It'll pick stuff like this up. Although I don't particularly want stuff like this. <laughs> Never mind. Finds a find. Thanks for watching. Jump in on the next hole. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm losing the light a little bit here, but I can't believe it. I managed to get one. Managed to get one. I've had nothing after that padlock but tin can, tin can, tin can, tin can, pretty much. So, I picked up a signal, thought this is going to be tin can. It's the first coin. What? I don't know. It's an old Georgie, basically. Very well, there'll be not much detail on it. I clean it when I get in, I might be able to pick up a head or a bus or something, but that's going to be your George Third. I'd say 1806 half penny. I thought it was silver when I first saw it. I think I'll actually give it a little bit of a clip somewhere with my spade there at the top. I saw a glint of silver and I thought, yes, silver coin, but it's not. It's a uh, I'm going to call it an 1806. Copper half penny. Could be older than that to be honest, but I don't know. Thanks for that. So there you go. First coin finding here. Thanks for watching. Jump in the next hole. Hi guys, I think this field's starting to mock me, it's starting to mock me now, that was an old, I didn't see that, and this is all covered in dirt, and I thought, that's a cartwheel, that's got to be a cartwheel size of that, and it isn't, it's a cartwheel, <laughs> I don't know, it's lead, but like black here, with a bit in the middle, same one on this side, so what the hell that was used for? bit of a car or something, there's, only, there's a road there, so, who knows? Oh, but I'd like to cartwheel a little bit better than a round circular thing, and it isn't a chain either. Oh well. Never mind. Find to find. Thanks for watching, jump in the next hole. Hi guys, this could be the last find. It's starting to go dark actually, believe it or not. It looks a lot brighter on the camera than what it does uh, from this side of the camera. There's the next find. It's another of those strange little, oh, I don't know, cap, something. Could be out, I suppose. So I'm not much luck tonight again. No coins, no chain either. 
I think he's lost that chain in, in, in the pond in there. I think he's shot off in there. And if it's in there, I can't get it. I should tell him next time we see him. And so give it a good deep uh, scanning. But nothing's come up. So there you go. Just a top off of something. Nice coppery. It's only copper bling. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys. I'm going to call it... Uh, a day for today. It's, uh, it's nearly 25 to 10. We've been going out here a while. <laughs> As you can see, it's going dark. We've just had to come out from underneath that tree. Now it's going dark. Uh, anyway, so what can I say? I couldn't find the chain. I might try in this field though tomorrow, but down this bottom end. I'd say a few little bits have been coming up. Whether I film it or not, I don't know. It's just pulling out bits that I've missed. So, uh, like I say, thanks for watching again, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Show me the next hunt.